The last few days had taught Nak a valuable lesson. Pain and suffering is all around this world, and it's hard to avoid it. After being critically maimed and had to rest up for a day, he had time to think, time to ponder. There was so much wrong with this world, there was so much to need fixing, and he thought that he, just maybe, was the hiver to do it. Humans and Shek alike seemed to treat hives with contempt, seemed to see them as weaklings. They saw them as little as slaves, little as chattel. But Nack knew the hives were better, stronger than the humans and the Shek thought. And he had proved them once and for all, that hives were equal amongst humans and Shek. His plan was simple, really. He would form a team, a team of like-minded individuals, and they would go around and they would try and put a fix to some of the world's worst wrongs. If he could do that, Nack thought, even if he could accomplish a fraction of what he dreamed, he could die happy. Hello, my fellow spuddies, and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. So, as you heard, Nack has kind of formulated a decision. He's going to try and rid the world of evil, which is a huge task, but his, uh, his, his slight childish hive mind thinks that he can do that. He, he still, he's only just gained three will, and he is running with it. And he thinks he can take on the world now. If he can actually do that or not, we, we shall see. So we're still in Squint. I didn't realise that this shop was here, so I've just popped in here. We're playing with Keizo, which is a mod that basically completely overhauls Kenshi. So normally this shop would be at the other end where that guard tower is. I installed it because it makes the whole world slightly different, slightly unique, which is, which is nice when I'm playing it again and doing a series because it's, it's, there's a lot of it that's new to me as well. So it's nice to explore the world at the same time as you guys. But this is kind of like a traveller's shop, so there's various bits and bobs in here. But we'll just get Hobbs to have a chat with them. White Tooth. Here to buy. Let's have a look at the, some of the stuff he's got. Right, okay, so he's got dog backpack. So we could, if we if we got a pet dog, we could chuck them on. That's nice. Dust shawl. 30% uh, acid protection. Do we have acid protection on this? No, I don't think we need acid protection right now. Okay, we should probably get some maps of the borderlands and things so that we can actually work our way around. So that's um extended western hive, that'd be nice. I'll push him, we've already got that one. Map of the swamps. Glorious holy map. That's quite a lot of our money already gone. We could probably do with a sleeping bag. Yeah, so that if we get if we get caught out outside, of, at the very least, we've got somewhere that we can rest our head. Right, okay, that's discover all what this. There we go. And this should open up the world a lot. There, here we go. And this is the whole of the Holy Nation. Yeah, as you can see, it extends a long way. But the majority is in Ocran's Pride around this general area. Now, the Borderlands, we've already discovered the Hub and Squin, obviously. But we've also got this way station over here and a tiny settlement here. That might be worth exploring. Now, the Swamp is dangerous. I don't really want to go there yet. It's going to take a little while before we're ready. Just because there's uh, blood spiders and there's uh, vicious machines that are willing to take us out down there. So... We're going to want to wait a little bit until we're, until we're ready. Right, so on that note, let's head off. Where are we going to go first then, guys? First of all, I think we should go back to this bar. I think we could potentially do with another another recruit or so. I think that would be nice. Because there seem to be lots and lots of potential recruits in here. Right. Okay, let's have a look. Right, let's talk to Ruka. Look at my horns, flat skin. Uh, no. <laughs> Good, don't, because I can still prove my worth in battle without them. I have a question for you, Flatskin. What do you do if you aren't numbered on the battlefield? Is there even a choice? You keep fighting till the end. Truth. You live a coward or you die a hero. We fight the enemy to the death, and we die with honour on the battlefield. But I didn't die. I awoke, surrounded by death, but still alive. They labelled me a deserter and cut my horns on my return. I am no longer a warrior, but a servant. You fought bravely. You didn't deserve that. Perhaps. Either way, I'll not remain here as an unclad warrior. But you, you seem different to the other outsiders I have met, Flatskin. Let us band together. I am intrigued to fight alongside you. It would be an honour. Here we go, we've got Ruka. Started off with two, and now there's three. We've got Ruka, the Shek. And look at that weapon, it's bigger than her, it's huge, it's ridiculous. Oh, this is great. Look at all these people. Oh, you wouldn't want to get in a fight in here, Jesus. Right, okay, on that note, now that we've got three people, I think it's time that we head off. Ruka isn't the strongest person in the world by the look of it. She's She's got a few different stats, but I think Hobbs is technically better. Oh no, she's she's all right. I think they're about on par, really. Yeah. Uh, the one thing we're probably going to have to watch out for is her running speed. Yeah, she can only run 14. We're going to want to be wary of that. But hopefully, just if we keep her running, her athletics will go up just naturally. 
Oh, we've got a bag check. Smuggler check, remove your effects flat skin. On your gear. This is going to happen all the time because check only really trust how strong you are. And seeing as the humans and hivers are seen as weak compared to them, they just don't trust them. So show them your gear. This will happen all the time. Who are you? Starving bandits. Oh, okay. Right, get here. They're going to come for us. They're going to attack us now. This is going to be good target practice. Okay, right. Keep that on because then that's your combat skills bonus is minus two. So we don't really want that. Right, on that note, go on. Everyone attack. Go on, take them out. There. There we go. Oh, successful. Right, before they raid glue everyone, let's grab us what we can. Ooh. Right, a couple of bits and bobs. Nice. Right, take a helmet. Always useful. Take that as well. Take that. Take that. Okay, so that's a little bit. They're running off with the rest of them. But we got a little bit of loot from that. So exciting. So what did we get? We got a, we got a junk katana and we got a desert saber. I think the junk katana for, with knack might be quite nice. And with hops, desert saber. Yeah, I think that'll do. Um, also, Ruka, you are going to have the backpack just because you're stronger and you could do with it. Right, now that they were out here, where would they head to next? They had the world at their fingertips. They could go anywhere, do anything they wanted. Now that they had Ruka, their drank had increased considerably. But Hobbs, in one of his many stories, told of a different race, a race of robots, a race of skeletons. They had a city that few humans had ever gone to in the Deadlands, a place where acid rained from the sky, thunder and lightning was continuous. Few things lived there apart from machines. But Hobbs had heard rumor of a city bang smack in the middle of this awful, awful place. And if there was any place where they could find machines to help them, it was there. But before they could go, they knew that they needed to earn some more cats. They needed to earn better equipment, acid protection to so save them from the storms. So in that sense, they decided to explore the Sten Desert looking for supplies, looking for ruins, in the hope that they could find some useful loot. Right then, so should we go... If we go towards Admag, we'll see if there's any loot on the way, basically. Um, we've got a, a variety of weapons, which is nice. We need to get Knack some, um, some decent equipment, I think. Basically, a bow or something. And then we've got a variety of different weapons. I mean, we've got a katana, a saber, and a heavy heavy weapon. So that's still a pretty good, a pretty good combo. But we need some on range, really. Probably also a martial artist at some point, and then it, we're kind of we're kind of set. I would prefer to have like two range to three, four melee. That's kind of a good a good number. But we will see. We'll see how it goes. Right, why are we running so slowly? Ruka ten miles an hour. Encumbrance plus forty. Oh god. Okay. Right. She's running way too slow. Right. Trade with Hobbs. Are we gonna have to distribute this? I think this plank is way too heavy for you. Yeah. Also, these boots aren't great. Mm, where are we going to go to first? I'll stop at the way station first, and then after that, we'll uh, we'll loop around. We'll see if we can find anything on the way, and then we'll go to Admag. And then I think I think we'll, I think we'll explore the Stand Desert for a bit. We'll try and loot what we can. Then we'll head back through the border zone. Uh, we'll head past past the hub again, probably to this tiny settlement, whatever that is. At which point, we'll probably be in good stead to cross cross the desert here and across to the Deadlands. Hopefully at that point we'll find some um, some interesting peoples and some interesting loot. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a little like training montage or something off camera because like their their st stats are so bad, especially strength. Like Hobbs is technically the strongest one, and that's saying something. So um, yeah, I think we're going to need to load them up with iron or something and get them to walk around walk around Squin or something. Right there we go. There's the way station. Right here we go. Oh, dust bandits. Right, just run. Just keep going. They're fine. They're, they're talking to us. We want your gear. Right, everyone run. Rookie, you might have to ditch your stuff. Uh, you can only run that fast. Does that help? That helps a little bit. Uh, Ruka, I think you might get overwhelmed. Right, Nax and Hop, run your ass off. Get in the gates. Get in the gates. Give up your cats or I'll split part of your scurvy legs with my, with my feet. What? You want to take 500 cats? Are you dare to try and take my money? Kill him. Ah, okay, right. Alps, run. Run in. They'll help us. Knack, don't you dare. Block. Knack, you're also blocked. Just get out of here. Ruka, where are you? Ruka's just like, they've just ignored Ruka. Right, at least there'll be some good loot for us. Um, attack them. Go on. Do your thing. 
Right, looks like one has a bow as well. That'd be good if we can get that. Like, what are you doing? Are you up here attacking them ones? Go on, Ruka, go. Yay! Right. Took them out. Loot them. Take that for Knack. Excellent. Just loot all of them, see what we can get from all of them. Then once we're done, we'll uh, we'll meet back. Well, that's pretty successful, I think. We've uh, we got a lot of stuff. Right, Hobbs, talk to them. Let's do business. Right. Sell all of this then. Uh, actually, that's standard grade. We might keep that. We might be able to swap that out with someone. Uh, the rest of it, though, we can probably get rid of. Oh, it's a standard junk boat. Oh, excellent. Right, it is standard. Oh, we've we've got we've got a runner. Take him out. Go on, take out the naked man. Oh, they're all getting up. Go on, guys. You you can take out the naked people. Go on, this is some this is some good experience. Come on, take them out. All right, there's one up there. All right, Ruka's just got on the guns. Fine, okay. Well, that was that was um. <laughs> she had just throw him literally out the gate. Oh, that was amazing. Right, okay. Let's go back in here. Let's sell the rest of the stuff that we got. Right, shoddy, shoddy, shoddy. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of all that. Cool. We, we're at eleven thousand cats. That's um. That's incredible. Right. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what we should do now. Let's go explore Admag. It might be a much bigger town. We we'll see what it's like. Be nice to have to actually find somewhere that's bigger. Um, you three stick together, please. Oh, we've got a bone dog. A couple of bone dogs there. I right, don't seem to have seen us. That's good. There's a campfire. Ooh! Ruka, take that take that meat. Apparently there's just some meat in there. There we go. Right, onwards. That was a lucky find. Needed some more food. Shek are notoriously hungry. They eat a lot more than the rest of them. So, yeah, we're going to want to keep our eye on food from now on. We're going to want to keep our eyes out just in case there are more any bandits or anything. We won't have the way station to run back to at this point. We're going to want to keep our eyes peeled, see if we can see anything. Oh, see, look, skin spiders. Right, quickly run over there. We might be able to get some money. Because they just took out some skin spiders. We can basically loot the skin spiders for some um, materials and things. I think, like, teeth and leather, I think. Maybe foul, foul meat. I'm not entirely sure what they drop. It's been a while. Here we go. Right. Right, I've got some raw meat and some other bits. Yeah, because they're terrifying skin spiders. We want to stay away from them as much as possible. Ruka says she's heard tale of a ruin nearby. An old Shek ruin. She used to play there as a child. We'll see what that entails. There in the distance is the ruins that Ruka mentioned. The fallen town. Hopefully they'll find some decent loot in there. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, it's the... It's, um... These are the, these are the skeletons we talked about. Shepherd trader. Hello. Hello, Drift. I've been responsible for these iron vultures for a long time now. I don't want an iron vulture look following me around. Ah, but wasters were very useful these days. Or you could stuff the tanks full of loot. Uh, you might want to wash them out first. Oh. Okay, you can basically buy these machines to act as pack animals. That's very cool. Oh, we're just short on money. That's really annoying. If we had a little bit more, we could actually buy one. Oh, we're going to have to keep a lookout for these, though. These look cool. Oh, we could really do one of these around. Okay, well, we'll keep we'll keep our eyes out. Thank you very much. We will, uh... Hopefully we'll find you again at some point. Uh, where's the ruins? There we go. Let's head off to these ruins, see if we can find any good loot. Right, it looks like a western hive caravan is over there in the distance. If we're quick, we could loot this, and then sell what we get with them, and then get some money. We might even be able to catch up with those other caravans, although I don't think they had a light with them, so we probably wouldn't be able to find them again. Which is a shame, but at least we'll be able to trade with them. We might be able to get some quick cash. Right, already we've got some raw iron, raw stone damage books. Oh, here we go. Right. Lots of stuff here. Okay, right. Let's, um... Go around, we'll pick up what we can. Oh, hang on. Band of bones. Band of bones are contro controlling this place. Ah. Uh, okay, I don't think it's worth it then. Let's head back down. Not worth fighting Band of Bones over some petty, petty things. Right, let's go see what the Western Hive have to trade. Take a look at what you've got, No Hive. And what you've got. They've got the actual Hive prosthetics, the advanced stuff. That's quite cool. Right, what else? We can sell these Animal Claws. We don't need them anymore. That's just free money. Um, so, this foul raw meat, the only things that can really eat it is Hive. Uh, the rest, it's just unedible to them. But we'll, we might keep it for Knack, who knows? Shoddy chainmail. 
Is that any good? We could probably give that to Ruka actually as an upgrade. Sell the fabric, don't need the fabric. I need to get Ruka equipped with all this stuff, I completely forgot. We don't really have much else to actually buy from them, which is a which is a shame really. Uh ooh, they've got a lot of stuff. We've got 11,000 11, cats. That's not too bad. Let's get Ruka fully equipped with the stuff then that she's got. Okay, oh actually no, that oh is oh I was stupid. I thought this would go in the armor setting, not the pants setting. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, well, these are probably better. 60%. Athletics effect is still minus. A lot of minuses. Her run speed is going to go down considerably. I, th I think for the time being, I would rather have the uh, the athletics than the, than the armor. It seems a bit stupid, but that's just what I'd rather have. Uh, right, stop. We will sell it. 700 cats. It's fine. I'm sure we'll find something just as good or better in the future anyway. Right. Okay. Now that ruins a bust, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, where should we go to? We should, we should go to Admag. Let's go to Admag. Sure, right. The long journey to Admag. Why are you still encumbered? Is it because this rusty chainmail weighs 10 kilograms? Is that the reason? Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even think of that. Okay. Well, it's going to be a long journey. You know what, Ruger? Actually, you're not. Screw it. Just pick up Hobbs. I don't care. We're gonna we're gonna train your strength. We might as well while we're doing this. If it's gonna take you long enough to actually get there just by running, you might as well walk, gain your strength up. We need you stronger so you can actually wield your weapon. There we go. Because now your strength's actually building really quickly. So that's that's decent. Let's do that. We'll make our way to Admag with Ruka carrying Hobbs. Seems like a plan. There it is off in the distance. Admag. Looks like a proper city compared to what we've experienced so far in the Kenshi. It was knack with awe just looking upon it. Right, here we go. We're actually at Admag. It took it took forever to get here. But Ruka's strength has gone up considerably. It's nearly at level 9. So it's gone up like 3 levels since we set off carrying Hobbs. It's pretty good going. So I might just keep carrying Hobbs. Hope we can just get a free trip everywhere for the time being. I'm going to check. Remove your effects, outsider. Put gear. Might as well. We've got nothing to hide. There we go. Right then. Let's have a look at this town. It's pretty cool. It's It's, it's bigger. It is bigger than Squin. A lot more foreboding, a lot more guard towers. Check out the bar, see what they got in here. That skin won't survive in the Shek Kingdom. Well, okay. Fine. Run along, come back when you found a spine. Uh, anyone we can talk to, just generally? Karu? Hmm? Looking to band up? You know, I follow a flat skin, don't make me laugh. Okay. Uh, Ruka, you want to talk to them? We can join together? Correct, 6,000 cats. I'm not interested. Yeah, anything like 6,000 cats is just not worth it. Not worth it at all. Hello, you're... A, oh, Shepherd Trader. You're here? Shame we don't still don't have enough. We're 3,000 cats short. Um, right, is there anyone else we can talk to? Rain the Giant. Hello, Rain the Giant. Your warrior outcast? One of the best. Oh, spirited. Well, need an extra blade? Rain the Giant... Pure Shek Warrior, 7,500 cats. Jesus. That's a little steep. You want a premium fighter or of a mighty Shek blood? You must pay the price tag. Got any skills? Find no better ally in the battle than a Shek Warrior outcast. And I am one of the best in the land. Not interested. Okay, well, 7,500. What are his skills? He's pretty strong. He's got quite a lot of other stuff going for him. That's nice. Retired Tech Hunter Mayor. Hey there, Traveller. I haven't seen you here before. My name's Mares. I'm a retired tech hunter. Used to be one of the best back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, Bob, I was. Ah, those were the days. Come over here and have a seat. Let's exchange tales. Well, why not? The two of you exchange stories of danger, treasure, and loss until the retired tech hunter pauses for a moment. So you must have known some secret, untouched place to find old tech, right? The retired hunter looks at you with the look of both sadness and disappointment. Well, I do happen to know of such location. I lost my whole team. Cut me out real good, too. I saw the robot cut my friend Puri's arm clean off. Cut through her like butter. Like butter, I tells you. I just keep running. Until I passed out from blood loss and I was found by some nomads. That was my last great hunt. I only did small fry after that until I retired. Now I just hang out here drinking and exchanging stories. Wow, well, I tell I take it you never went back. Hell no, and you'd be crazy to go there. If you have that itch for an old... If you have that itch for finding old tech, or you've just got a death wish, then I'll tell you. But just, just be careful. Like, really careful. That place is dangerous. It ain't really a secret. The locals just know to avoid it. Come on, spit it out. The anticipation's killing me. But if you head due west from the city till you reach water, you'll find it along the coast. 
around what looked to be some sort of old shipyard. Can you believe that in the past people were able to make metal float? Just have no idea how they did it. Anyway, some strange vault of some sorts by the look of it. Good luck. Take a big swig from the cup. You're gonna need it. Um, Mares, was it? You're the best. Two of you bump cups. Cheers. Right, west from the city. So is it like here? Or until you find an old shipyard? Okay. Oh god, no, we don't actually want to go. Not yet. Right, we just need to remember that's there. So west from here, basically. I don't think we're ready to take on robots yet. We uh, we have basically no skills whatsoever. We'll see what we've got in here, and then I think we're going to head off once more. Probably head off, I think, back along the border zone, something like that. See if we can loot anything else, get some more cats. We'll go from there. Right, we haven't really touched upon most of this. So building materials and things, iron plates, this is all used for building bases and stuff like that so you can build whole towns if you really want to and most of it relies on building materials which are basically made by stone and iron plates you can make by make mining iron yeah that they're the foundations for basically building what you want if you want to research stuff you're gonna need books and there's various ones so there's like um there's books and there's advanced books and various other books that you can use ai cores which you use for the advanced research but all of that will enable you to kind of research how to make weapons how to make armor how to just better yourself how to make better fa how to make farms that sort of thing that's all very very cool however building towns when you're not ready is just a death wish basically we wouldn't be able to survive if we made a town by just the three of us chances are we'll be overrun by raiders and people demanding tribute from us and all sorts of other stuff depending on where we set up shop so not the best place to really do it Right, so that's Admag. Um, it's a shame. I was hoping to go to these ruins, but it just looks like it's overrun with uh, with peoples at the moment. Um, I'm thinking then let's, let's go to this tiny settlement. Seems like a good plan. Right, okay. On that note, let's head off to this tiny settlement. <laughs> with Hobbs just getting a free ride again. Hobbs swaying left to right. But to be fair, all of this is increasing Ruka's strength considerably, and we need her to have decent strength so she's not encumbered anymore. Her run speed has actually gone up from all of this, so... We just need to keep it up, basically. When we no longer have encumbrance and our strength stops, stops going up, and then we can then we can probably put Hobbs down at that point. Right, so we just passed through Skin. We did a little bit of the trading. We uh we managed to loot some bandits that we found just outside the outside of Squint that have been basically beaten to death. So yeah, we're actually out to eight thousand catch, which is amazing. So what we need to do now then, I think, is head over to this tiny little settlement. Ruka's stats are up to or nearly 16, which is nice. We actually got Nax stats up a tiny bit in strength as well, just carrying a few bits around. That's really exciting. Uh, we are getting there very, very slowly. Ruka, we need to get her strength up because she's got this heavy weapon. The stronger she is, the better she'll be with heavy weaponry. Right, go on, intrepid explorers, go. We're going to have to watch out, though, because bandits are all over this place. We're going to have to watch out. Rumor has it that the Dust King lives around here. The little settlement he's built himself. Have to, we're gonna have to keep our eyes out basically just stay alert oh hello we discovered holy military base deserted that could be some good loot oh hang on who are they looks like there's a bandit camp oh, there's bandit camp there as well uh crap okay when you see little tents like that it means that this tends to be a bandit camp um, so we're going to want to stay away from them as much as possible. I will try and loop up here, though, for the Holy Military Base. We'll see if there's anything... It looks like ruins rather than natural ones. So we'll look if there's anything nearby in that. Which one will cross over the tiny settlement. Which also looks like a potential ruin. We'll see if there's anything there. Can't see much going on. Get a bit closer. Right. It looks like there's a lot... Oh my god, it's going crazy. There are lots of weapons in there. Apparently so many that they're going mental. Um, are there any enemies in here? None that I can see. Right. Basically free loot. A lot of stuff in here we can take. And luckily we've got Hobbs' backpack. So we should be able to get most of this. Hopefully there's a little way station or a settlement or something around here that we can go trade with them. Ruka, put Hobbs down. We're going to need to get as much of this stuff as we can physically carry. Right. Okay. All of you split up. Take as many weapons as we can. We'll go from there. Right. I think that's... This place is pretty much as clear as we're going to get it. There's a few other bits we've missed out, but I don't think we can fit any more in our inventory. Don't think we can fit any more in our inventory. Um, we'll see. Can we pick up that? Oh, we can. 
Okay, right, you pick up those two. Hobbs and Knack, you, you hang out here. Hopefully they don't notice us. Ruka, you just finish off looting. Right, we can't pick up the long cleaver, but we can pick up the other bits. Right, okay. You two come out here. Now, the plan is that we need to find a way station of some sorts. Uh, maybe the tiny settlement isn't a ruin. It just looks like a ruin from the little picture there. Um, but we will head that way anyway. Hopefully we can find something. That someone to trade with. And unload all of this stuff. Because look at it all. Look at all of that. Is there any actually decent quality? Doesn't look like it. Right, well we've got a lot of stuff to trade. So, in that sense. Ruka. Pick up Hobbs again. Ruka's now encumbrance is at 63. That's good. Back to being really encumbered. Right, let's go across here. We'll go across the plains and hopefully we'll find someone to trade with. Well, speaking of which, we've discovered a way station. Oh, bizarre, thank God. Right, okay. All of you head there. We're going to go do some trading. Right, this way station's a bit weird. It's just up on the top of a little hill. Nice vantage point for the rest of the place, though. Look at that. But I'm guessing that's the little settlement, so I'm glad we didn't go there because it looks like ruins. But I think next episode, what we're going to do is explore that. Because there might be more loot and things like we found at the uh, at the abandoned settlement over there. Right, let's go in here. We'll trade up what we can, and then I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm actually kind of amazed that we got this far carrying hops and all that equipment. I was I was adamant that we were going to get attacked, and I'm really, really honestly surprised that we didn't. Um, I think that's just pure luck. Normally, normally in Kenji, you would get attacked by hundreds and hundreds of bandits doing this. So, um, yeah, pretty pleased. My favorite customer. We haven't been in here before. How can I help? Show me your goods. Right, okay. Sell the ninja blade. Sell that. Um, Ruka, sell all of this. Hobbs, here we go. Look at all the money just roll in. But that might be better, actually. Damage versus humans. I think seeing as a... I think we'll sell that. We'll, we'll stick with the hacker class. I think that might be better. Cool. Right. We're all good. Let's have a look at Ruka's stats. Is she up to 20 yet? Oh, she's so close. So close to level 20. Her encumbrance is like 10 now. Without Hobbs, that's great. Her, her run speed is up to 13. Not amazing, but we are getting there slowly. Uh, with all her uh, equipment on, she's got that which slows her athletics. We'll take that off. Yeah, up to 16. So actually, if we got her some sandals or something like uh, Hobbs has, she'd be absolutely fine. I think we're going to call it a day. Knack is very cool. He's got this uh, shawl thing that we picked up. I'm going to have to trade that with someone else because actually, I don't think I don't think as a hive he needs the uh, acid protection. Whereas I think the other two do. If when we, when we go into here, into the Iron Valley, chances are that the uh, the acid rain is not going to be pleasant for them. It'll be all right for Knack, but it probably won't be for the other two. I mean, that's that hat is 40%. Could probably trade that with one of them to help out. So we might actually just have to take one or two into the uh, Iron Valley next episode. Maybe leave another one behind to do something. Maybe do some mining or something or just hang around for a bit. Because not worth taking everyone into the Deadlands and Iron Valley if um, if they're just going to die to to acid rain. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like what's in, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons: Seth, Pet Overlord, Seth, Drew, Clint, David, Aaron, Dale, Mikhail, Emma, Deblag, Rai, Kylara, Daniel, Len, Wolf, AJ, and Andrew. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are just amazing. Um, yeah. Next episode, we're going to just keep going. Off camera, I might do a little bit of training. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But. Because we've, we've got a long way to go in terms of training. Ruka needs to get a strength up. So does Hobbs. So does Knack. So I think even if it's just strength training, I should probably try and level them up a little bit. Maybe so that all of them are at least level 10, level 15. I think that would be good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.